In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about page numbers in Microsoft Word. I'll show you how to firstly add page numbers to a document and then go on to adding page numbers that start from a specific page. And if you find this video useful, please consider giving it a like. It really does help support the channel. So let's begin. So just a quick note before I start, I am using Microsoft Word 365 Pro Plus for this tutorial. I have a document where I have a cover sheet, a table of contents, and some content after this. By the way, if you want to know how to create a table of contents in Word, then check out my other tutorial. Now let's start with the easy job of adding page numbers to this document. To add page numbers, go to Insert, Page Number. You will see there are a few options here. You can select to show the page numbers in the top or bottom of the page. And when you select these, you can have the numbers aligned to the left, center, or right of the document. It is also possible to add the page numbers to the page margin or to the current position. And the current position option just refers to the position that you clicked on prior to opening the page numbers options. For this example, I will add the page numbers to the bottom of the page, specifically to the bottom right of the page. Now you can see that the page numbers have been added to the footer on all of the pages in the document. But what if I don't want the page numbers on all of my pages? For example, say I want the page numbers to begin on my third page, because the first page is a cover sheet and the second page is a table of contents. To do this, I need to create sections within my document. Sections are just different parts of a Word document, and they are separated by what are known as section breaks. Usually, you cannot see where section breaks are in the document, but if you go to Home and click on the Show Hide button, you can see where the page and section breaks are. Currently in my document, I do not have any section breaks. I only have page breaks. These are a bit like section breaks, but instead marks the point where a page ends. So what I want to do now is to add a section break at the point where I want the page numbers to start. For example, I will add a page break after my table of contents on page two. So this would mean pages one and two will be a section, and this section will have no page numbers shown. Then from pages three onwards, where my content is, that will be a different section. To add a section break, I will click on the part in the document where I want it to be inserted, so at the end of page two. Then I will go to Layout, Breaks, then under Section Breaks, I will select the Next Page option. Now you can see a section break has been added. I'll now turn off the Show Hide option to make things a bit easier to see. Next, you want to double click on the page numbers in the section that you want to keep the page numbers on. For me, this is the page numbers on page three. Notice the header and footer tools options have appeared at the top. What you want to do is deselect the option that says link to previous. This means the two sections will now be treated separately. Now we can double click on the page numbers in the first section and delete these. Doing so will not affect the page numbers in the second section because they are now treated separately. Now we have the page numbers shown for page three which is what I want, and nothing on pages one and two. Another aspect that you may want to change at this point is the numbering start point. If I wanted to change this, I can double click on the page number, then right click and select the format page numbers option. This will open up the page number format window. Under the page numbers header, I can select the second option, then specify a page number I want to start at. And that brings me to the end of this tutorial. Now you know how to add page numbers to all pages or a specific page within a Microsoft Word document. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.